Okay, so this uh, tutorial is just to take you over um, using the uh, this this color, or not color palette, but this um, fill tool, uh, custom toolbar. Anyway, uh, so the idea is that you start out with your line work. Uh, I've just done my line work on a separate layer. I'm going to turn off my pencil lines. Uh, I'm going to need a new image layer. I'm going to throw that in the back, and. This is going to contain my fill, so I'm going to choose the. Um, this is just a, a shape tool. You know, I mean, you've got the shape tool. You can just fill in like that. Let me choose a color. There we are. I filled that in. Uh, I choose the fill tool here. Whenever I click this, this brings up my uh, filling shape tool. Opens the uh, control panel. I'm going to use the front layer, so that's basically my line work as my source. Because the thing is, if I choose to use the layer and I use the right click, see that it just takes the current layer and uses that as my um, well. The, the, the fill tool will just um, fill or erase until it hits something. So if I use my front layer, then it will, you know, it'll go until it hits just the, um, the until it hits the line work. So um, yeah, I set my expand to one my range to 70 so you know that gets rid of everything so now this thing has been masked off uh, I'm going to go to the toolbar and lock my alpha channel because I don't want to be um, you know I, I don't need to, to affect the alpha channel anymore uh, get back to the fill tool oh, I'm still on the fill tool um, and just start you know picking different colors I, I guess I can uh, what I need to do is I need to create uh, what I call the tag layer so this tag layer is I'm going to try and isolate things into separate objects as best I can. So there's that one. I've got the uh, cutter tool, so I'm just going to use that to fill in any of these small